What's up guys, my name is Lucas Erickson and today I want to talk about something that I've just recently found out that you can do really easy in After Effects. Let's get right into it. So as you guys know, motion tracking is really hard to do in Final Cut Pro X. The best way that you can probably do in Final Cut Pro X is using keyframes, but this is like a really slow process. But the best method that I've found is using After Effects. And I'm going to explain it right now, right here. Let's go. So obviously for this tutorial you guys are going to need After Effects. This is definitely not available for everyone, but if you do have it, watch this tutorial as it's really helpful and it really just makes your footage look a lot more professional. See you guys in a sec. Okay guys, so now that we're here in After Effects, we're going to import our file. I've already got mine imported into this little inspector right here and we're just going to get that file and we're going to drag that into the timeline right here. Okay, so now you guys should see this here and yeah, just go back to the start and then we're going to go down here to this panel right here and we're going to go to Tracker right here. Now you want to select the clip and you're gonna press track camera. Okay guys, so now that it's done, you guys are gonna see all these little like colored dots here. Okay, so now we're gonna have a look at a little point here, which is actually stays at the same point during the whole clip. So let's have a look for that. And, okay, so, um, I can see that this little green one at the start here. So now if you wanna track text to your object, you're gonna go press on this, and then right click, and press create text from camera. If you'd want to uh, track like an image or something like that, you're gonna go, you're gonna press create null on camera. But for this tutorial, I want to show you how to you, how you can just track some text to it. So what we're gonna do is just gonna press that. So now we're just gonna edit that and just say like motion tracking. There we go. Obviously, you can change all the text how much you want. Um, you have like all the stuff here. I'm just gonna make mine Gotham bold because it's a nice font. Okay, now that you've finished writing your text, you're going to select the text layer. Okay, so now you guys are going to see this little like 3D axis right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to press on this little mouse button here, and now we can actually adjust it. Um, so yeah, unmove it to the, the X axis a bit, and then we're going to move the Y axis down a bit, just so we can just scale that up right here. Um, yeah, so it's pretty easy to move around. You can even move it forward to the Z axis. Obviously, I don't really need that right here, but it's good to have the option. So yeah, now you're pretty much actually done, and let's just have a look at, look at that back. And as you can see, it tracks that point through the whole image, and it just looks really, really professional. So yeah, that's pretty much it with the tutorial. If you do want to track an image, it's pretty much the exact same thing. There are hundreds of tutorials out there on YouTube, so if you guys did want to track an image, look at those tutorials, because they'll probably help you more than this. But anyway, back to you, Lucas. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, smash that like button and press subscribe for more weekly content. Also, ring that bell so otherwise YouTube doesn't notify you that I've made a new video, which is really stupid because what's the point of subscribing then? Like. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, I will see you guys next week for another tutorial or whatever I'm going to do. See you guys.